the trial of Darren Headley is set to continue today with the plea bargaining phase. This is just six months after he was charged with the accidental murder of 16-year-old Tristan Davies. Tristan's father, Ronan, was recently announced to be the lead attorney in the public's case against Headley, which has sparked a massive debate about whether his personal relationship with the victim will intrude on getting proper justice in this case. I'll be here eventually, Ronan. Don't worry. Twenty minutes late, Mr. Headley. Apologies, Mr. Davies. Uh, we had some trouble getting him here. Can you not smoke that here, sir? So as previously communicated, my client Mr Headley is actively willing to work towards a deal that is fitting of the crime that he's committed. Um, to start off today, we were initially thinking 15 years with parole at five. I can't do that, it's too easy. So what would you change to that? No parole. You five no parole? Um, how does 15 years no parole sound? And much higher. Right. 18 years with no parole. Much higher. 20 years no parole. Much higher. 23 years no parole. Jesus, higher. Again. 26 years no parole. I, I can't do these minor deals now. Mr Davies, I'm not being funny. Are you or your counsel going to have any input whatsoever in this case? Listen, we all know the context of this case. But this man killed a 16-year-old boy in broad daylight. What, what makes you think we're going to give him a small deal? Well, work with me here. I'm listing off deals for you guys, and all I'm hearing is higher, higher, higher. Because a plea deal is stupid. This man shouldn't be given minor deals. He should be put away for life. No, he, sh he deserves to be hung. But how is that fair? I knew I shouldn't have come today. Listen, I know how much this case means to you, right? Like, shit, if that was my 16 year old son who was killed by that man, I'd feel the same way too. But you can't let your emotions keep getting the best of you. I don't care. I don't care about emotions. That man killed my son. The chances of you getting into this But case there is a chance! But Ronan, I just. I don't care. I'm getting the death penalty. End up. Taking this to court and I'm gonna fight for the death penalty. Mr. Davies. Mr. Davies! Why should Mr. Headley's life be taken for something he so dearly regrets? In my opinion, no life should be taken when change can be done to better a person. No life should be taken when change can be done. My son never got the chance to change his life because of this man. The cocaine, Ronan, that's what you mean by never getting the chance to change? Why was cocaine found in Tristan's toxicology report on the day of his death? Why on your account of the day did it take you two whole days to file a missing persons report for your 16 year old son? My wife, Tristan's mother, died a few years back. Dementia. It was onset from a stroke and he couldn't handle it. Seeing her die like that just, it ruined him. He turned to other vices, cocaine, pills, anything he could find. But why does he get the opportunity to change? My son never got the opportunity to change. He's not going to get the death penalty, Ronan, I'm sorry. I can build a case so high if we want to go to court. And sure, sure, it's a case that either way, my client is definitely going to go and see the inside of a prison cell. <laughs> but it's one that's going to be too little for what you want. So sit here with me now. Let's get justice. No. Justice. 
You call a man escaping to a shitty prison justice? I call someone going to prison in general for killing a 16 year old boy, your 16 year old boy, justice in general. Shit man, this is my client and I should fight for him in court. But when he told me he wanted to make a deal, I was happy because this guy deserves to rot. That isn't fair. That's the law, Ronan. If we played the gods role and took the life of anyone that made, committed a simple crime, what precedent do we set? So let's make a deal, Ronan. Okay. Thirty years with parole and asylum with prison tenure. I'm glad we could all come to the agreement today. Listen, Ronan, I know this isn't what you wanted today, but if she was here, if Tristan was here, they'd be happy you got justice, okay? Ready to go? No life should be taken when change can be done. Sorry, Ronan? I said, no life should be taken when change can be done. Mr. Davies, I... But Tristan never got a chance to change because of that man. Run, calm Tell down. me to calm down one more time, I swear to God. Why does he get to play the God role? Why does he get to decide who lives and dies? He killed an innocent 16-year-old boy. We swear on the Bible every time we enter court to swear we won't perjure. And this man thought he was equal to God. The man who put us on this earth. He decides who, he li who lives or dies. And you thought he, you were equal to him. It was a genuine accident, man. I'm sorry. Like, what more do you want from me? Please. You decided you were equal to God. You took on the role yourself. You took the life of a 16-year-old boy because you felt like it. But if you want to take the God role, you should have to answer to the Lord himself. <laughs>